Uh, right, time now to say hello to tonight's guest. Please welcome Rick Stein and the star of the brilliant crime drama, Kin, Aidan Gillen and Emmett J. Scanlon. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you, gentlemen. Uh, excited to talk about the new series of Kin in a second. But first, we're going to come to you, Rick, mm, because well, you've Alex, also... Well. well, you've got a new series, haven't you? Yeah. Sampling food around mm. the UK. Yes. Let's have a look. Let's go. Two cup, please. I've been a chef for over 50 years. Service. And I've come to realise that the food we eat tells a story about who we are. So I'm on a mission to find out what we all like to eat today. Oh, that is good. From our wow. traditional dishes... Long live the Yorkshire pudding. ..to those we've made our own. So join me as I unearth the stories behind the food we all love to eat today. I'm in. Big yes. fan. Big fan, Rick. Um, I'm getting the kitchen in there. It's, it's really good. You know, it always sets things up. Everybody working away. Yeah, it's yeah. active. It's active, yeah. yeah. You said it yourself there about, you know, you're on this journey to find out what people love to eat. So what, what exactly did you, did you learn? Well, I, I, I started off with this idea that there's no such thing as sort of British food anymore, really. I mean, we all know the classics like fish and chips, you know, steak and kidney pie, Yorkshire pudding, roast beef. But actually what we're eating is so different. And if you look at the sort of top 10 dishes in the country, most of them aren't as what we would call British at all. We've got like obviously things like chicken tikka masala and pizza and we're just very, very, you, we're looking all over the place for food really. And so I just thought I'd go on this journey round the country just picking up on what people are, are eating. You know, you know what, you've made my day. It's really? exactly what I was saying earlier, and every single person in this room attacked me. I was like, well, what is British food now? And everyone was like, well, you know, no. chicken korma, a, a, a fry not, up. No. You did. It's yeah, you not did. how All it went you. down, Rick. Basically, <laughs> I Rick said Stein. Sunday I've lunch. Me up. <laughs> no, no, no. But we are a melting pot and getting more mm. adventurous, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I mean. thank you, Rick. Now, a lovely moment <laughs> in the series is when you meet um, this young couple who are chefs, they're Glaswegian, and you go to see them in their restaurant. In Govan Hill. And they've got a new baby. Oh, I love that. And it, it, they kind of remind you of you when you were in your younger days. Don't they? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the wife, I think the babysitter is. Yeah, you can up. see the baby. Really? On the, yes, there's a shot here where you can see the baby on the, in the sling well, on the back. Oh, yeah. They're just so enthusiastic and so hard working. Mm. And the fact they got, she's got a baby and still working, you know, because, you know, when I started, it was like that. You just worked all hours and. Um, and you just had so much hope and enthusiasm, really. And, and that's what I loved about them, because they're just... They also had quite a lot of my books in their little library. At the front of the <laughs> Always helps. So I loved them anyway. Uh, but it, it, it's a lovely part of, of Glasgow. I really like Glasgow, actually. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Amazing restaurants. Yes. <laughs> so that, that's a brilliant part about this show. It's not just about the food, is it? You get to see some really interesting parts uh, of the UK as well. Yes, and, and also, you, you, I mean, you, you get a feeling for what what's going down food-wise in all parts of the country, really, like, like Leicester, OK? I mean, I went to school quite near Leicester, but I'd not really looked at it in any detail. When I got there, I just realised it's really quite... It's quite sort of pushing onwards. It's quite sort of prosperous, and it's got this real sort of sense of, 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 of being a successful place. And that's really down to the, the Indian subcontinent people that went there. And the food there is... The Indian food there is probably as good as you get anywhere in the world. And there's just a really good buzz about it. So, and, and I think... It's a really good idea, actually, going to the, the places in the country with food in mind, because you, you, you really get an idea of what what people what people really like. You know, mm. I yeah. think food's a great. It just draws people together, and I mean, I think that's one of the the great things about food, and that's what I find in all the programmes I'm doing, because you, you're not being sort of antisocial when you're talking about food to other people. No. And you're also very full of sort of um, praise for other people's cooking, you know. And we're very lucky like this in this country because we've got so much cooking from so many different parts of the world. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, you've travelled all over the world, all over the UK. So many stories. And you're bringing them together as well for a tour now, aren't you? Well, okay, I am. I'm hang doing on, a gentlemen, a musical number. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm doing sad. a little theatre tour of about 14 places all up and down the country. And um, I, I'm sort of like 
quite good at holding an audience. I'm surprised, really, just being a chef. But I think what, what, what I do is just tell stories about what it's like doing TV <laughs> programmes. You know, I could have chats with you about what goes on behind the scenes. And occasionally, the crew appear in my, my programmes. And it's sort of like sort of bringing people into, you know, what it was like working with that little dog I had for so many oh, children. We were talking about him. How much uh, we missed him when he was gone. And it, it's just... And also, I'm going to bring some music into it. I bring, you know, stuff I like to listen to. And I think we'll bring in some of the theme tunes because we had some really good theme tunes, particularly the Indian one. There's this song about curry. And we'll have a clip of all these young kids from a technical college in the Punjab, all dressed up in sort of yellows and blues and greens Brilliant. and dancing and singing the Sounds curry great. song. Sounds good. Oh, Rick. Um, <laughs> Rick's Food Stories continues tomorrow, 6.30 on BBC Two, and the whole series is available on iPlayer, and tickets for the tour are right available now. now. We could talk to you for about three hours now, we couldn't we? Could we do, indeed. Uh, right now, the first <laughs> series of Aidan and Emmett's crime drama, Kin, uh, was a huge success, so fans will be excited to hear that it's back grittier than ever for a second series tomorrow. Now, in a moment, they'll be telling us all about it, but first, let's see what's in store for the Kinsella family. Why come here if you're not going to negotiate? To discuss Eamon Cunningham's debt to my family. The debt is now yours. You don't make deals on my behalf. Not without even asking me first. Everything's just changed, Amanda. I hope you get that. Frank, you're supposed to be a star. When I'm locked up again. You're just ill, Eric. Don't go doing anything stupid. Not me. I'm just going to stand back and watch her all go off. It is brilliant. It's quite, I mean, it's gritty. It's one for the grown ups, definitely. And we don't want to give any spoilers because it was so popular, the first series. But just tell us what's at the heart of this drama, then, for those that didn't catch the first series, maybe. Well, d definitely what's at the heart of it is family. You know, it's a, it's a family drama, it's a crime drama, like a lot of the, uh, I suppose, classic crime dramas are set in. Uh, a modern Ireland, um, a side of I Ireland and Irish society that, you know, internationally may not be familiar to audiences. I love the houses. Gosh, they're... Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, that's it. Essentially, it's family, crime. It's about people, you know. Um, characters, very character-driven. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of tension, a, a lot of action, but it's really... I, don't, I think you don't... Unless you really know the people, you don't really care about, you know, what happens to them. Yeah, and that's true. even if they are on the amoral side, you know, that's where they're at. And we're just playing it for, you know, for real and the stakes are really high. Um, and so people who did see it here on BBC season one, I know are, you know, uh, it's highly anticipated this season two, which has already screened in Ireland. And seasons one and two were the most viewed. Uh, programs outside of news and sport in Ireland, like two years running. So that's uh, wow, yeah. you know, it's impressive. It's a good show. Yeah. yeah. So, so Emmett, you play uh, Jimmy, Frank's nephew. Yes, I do. Is it fair to say oh. um, <laughs> slightly nasty, slightly nasty character? Seems right, actually. Yeah. Honestly, Rick, he's awful. <laughs> is he? Is it, is it oh, a character know, you enjoy it, playing? Is it? I mean, it's it's it can be it can be quite taxing. I mean, the material is 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 very dark and it's serious and. Um, like Aidan talked about, it's, it's story driven and it's character driven, but it's very real. The storylines can be, and um, I guess it, it, it can be it can be quite a, a daunting thing. It can be a lot of fun, especially if you're going toe to toe with people like Aidan, who I've been a fan of uh, for many years, and who uh, smashes it. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, a lot of the time in between setups, in between takes, yeah. we would find time to. Maybe uh, to relax, we'd have uh, pool tournaments in the in the pub or or games of darts, and we'd go out and we'd have drinks and dinners and all that together. And you need to do that for yeah. your own uh, mental health, because, like I said, it's beautifully scribed by uh, Peter McKenna, uh, but it is heavy, it is dark, and it is proper story-driven, mm. character-driven. Yeah. I was a bit worried Drama. about meeting you, but you seem all right. Mm. OK, yeah, I'm OK. Um, Aidan, there's loads of really powerful women in the series, isn't there? You know, and behind mm. the scenes, the sort of women are pulling the strings in many ways. Did you grow up with kind of a feeling of strong, a strong matriarch in the family? 
I did actually. I mean, the the Irish mother is a force to be reckoned with, you know, as is the Jewish mother, as is you know a lot, a lot of other the Welsh mothers, mother, the Welsh mother, whatever. Um, <laughs> so yes is the answer, and of course, um, in this, I mean, the character I play in this is somewhat kind of weakening as you know time progresses, which is fine, and. Um, the, the people who are actually running the show or who you know come to run the show are are the women, are the women which is uh, which is indicative for all families I have a, yeah, like a, yeah. I have a one year old daughter who's got five teeth and three chins and she literally runs our family and has us wrapped around her little yeah, finger so happens. women just they, so they run everything. The, the, they're all strong characters whether you know they're kind of you, you know they're strongly portrayed and strongly written whether yeah. they're kind of um, competent or not um, but certainly in this story, uh, you know, you do see the, the women um, moving to the to the forefront and yeah. ru running the show. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, we've got some comments here. I've got these first two. I've got to read out. Go Hilarious. For it. I mean, Annie and Sharon both ask, "Will there be a Kin series three? I oh. mean, we're, we're literally just talking about series <laughs> well, it's, two. It's the most watched <laughs> thing in Ireland. Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be. I mean, it's been going. it's been really really well received here in Britain. Uh, remarkably, I always wanted to come to Britain because I always thought that maybe because the British people they kind of embrace Irish people. They embrace Irish shows. They certainly have since I moved over here in 2010. I know that Aidan can speak for that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, I really wanted to come here. And when it came here, the response, while I thought I might have done well, the response has been ridiculous. And that can only serve well for the possibilities of a season three. Yeah. The truth is, yeah. I, I don't know, but, I, I know, but uh, we are hopeful. And who knows? Mm -hmm. There'll be one. Yeah, you have indeed. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you both. Uh, the new thank series you. of Kin starts tomorrow on BBC One at 10.40, and the whole series will drop on iPlayer. At the same time, we can also find series one.